Hello sunshines! Today's video is going to be sort of a combination video. First, about what books I finished in January and which books I plan to finish and read in February. And secondly, about how reading is one of my personal forms of self-care. So first up, the books that I finished reading in January. I read three books in the month of January and they are in no particular order. You Gotta Get Bigger Dreams, My Life in Stories and Pictures by Alan Cumming. This is another one of Alan Cumming's memoirs and it's sort of a peek behind the showbiz curtain. He talks about different events that he's gone to working on different shows and just sort of his life on the road as an actor. I listened to it on Audible and it was narrated by Alan Cumming so again very delightful to listen to his beautiful accent. I would definitely recommend any of Alan Cumming's memoirs as a great place to dive in if you are not super hip with reading memoirs or nonfiction. They're very digestible and fun. The next book that I read in January is Talking As Fast As I Can from Gilmore Girls to Gilmore Girls by Lauren Graham. Lauren Graham narrates the audiobook, so similar to how Alan Cumming made his audiobook enjoyable by narrating it, Lauren Graham also made her audiobook even more enjoyable by the fact that she narrated it. I actually enjoyed how much time she spent on things other than Gilmore Girls as well. She talked a lot about how she got her start as an actor and her journey to Gilmore Girls and I really enjoyed that aspect as well. But then of course she did take us through kind of getting cast in Gilmore Girls, what that process was like, what the set was like, and then sort of at the end what coming back to the Gilmore Girls set so many years later for A Year in the Life was like. Super enjoyed it, definitely recommend. The third book I completed in January I also listened to on audiobook. I'm sensing a trend, are you? Hmm, I spend a lot of time in my car you would be correct. <laughs> anyway, the third book I listened to in January is Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen. This is one of those Jane Austen books that I have just never read. I enjoy Jane Austen a whole heck of a lot. I super enjoy her perspective on people and the human condition. She captures Regency life in a really fascinating way. What I sort of loved about Northanger Abbey that I hadn't seen in any of Jane Austen's other books, her main character Catherine reads a lot of novels and loves novels. And at that time in history, reading novels was sort of looked down upon. And there's this bit in the middle where Dane Austen breaks the fourth wall and goes on a tangent about novels and how novels are respectable. And I kind of laughed out loud at that part because I just loved that she went there and did that. This was a wonderful audiobook because Emma Thompson, Douglas Booth, Lily Cole are all a part of the cast who narrate this book. It's definitely put on as sort of an audio drama and I really enjoyed listening to it this way. So those are the books I read in January and on to the books that I would like to finish reading and also read in the month of February. First up on this list is a book that I have started so long ago, The Dark Days Packed by Alison Goodman. This is the second book in The Dark Days Club series. I really enjoyed the first one. I'm enjoying the second one a lot too. Essentially, Lady Helen finds out that she has magical powers and can see and fight demons that are walking around in her world. It's an interesting storyline, so I'm looking forward to finishing this book this month. Next up, another book that I have already begun, and that is Let's Talk About Love by Claire Can. This is a book that I hyped in my 2018 most anticipated LGBTQ books. This book follows Alice. She is a noted bisexual but what the world doesn't actually know is that not only is she bi, but she's also ace. I will report back as soon as I am finished with this one. Next up on my list for February is The Dangerous Art of Blending In by Angelo Sermelis. I also blurbed in my 2018 Most Anticipated LGBTQ Plus Reads. This book follows Evan who grows up in a strict Greek Orthodox family. There is abuse. His father is not interested in getting involved with the situation between Evan and his mother. His mother abuses him and it sounds kind of heavy but it's definitely a story that I'm looking forward to diving into. And finally, this is a book that I picked up on a whim. The Princess Saves Herself in this one by Amanda Lovelace. This is a collection of poetry. I haven't heard anyone talk about it though I think that a lot of people have. And the reason that I picked it up was because of the dedication. When I flipped open, that's the first page that I saw, and I'm gonna read it to you really quickly. For the boy who lived, 
Thank you for inspiring me to be the girl who survived. You may have a lightning bolt to show for it, but my body is a lightning storm. And I was like, okay, I'm interested. Now on to the quick little footnote of this video, and that is about how reading is one of my forms of self-care. Kind of along those same lines of writing in a journal and self-care and taking the time to do the things that you enjoy that restore your soul and bring you happiness. I was recently reached out to by a company called Workman who is partnering with another company called Flow about a book that they have coming out. And so I wanted to share this book with you guys because I think it's really cool and I love the concept of it. I also really enjoy the art. It reminds me a lot of something. If women in the Regency era had had this book, they would probably have used it. It's called A Book That Takes Its Time, An Unhurried Adventure in Creative Mindfulness. And essentially what this book is, is a collection of poems and stories and creative outlets. So like this, note cards for your beautiful moments jar and filled to the brim with creative ways to express yourself and kind of slow down and take a moment to take the world around you in. They also sent me this book, which is another partnership book that they created called Everything Grows With Love, Beautiful Words and Inspiring Thoughts. And it's just a beautiful book filled with things like kindness is the new black, the smallest things warm the heart. It's filled with happy little quotes like that. A book that takes its time is available now and everything grows with love, beautiful words and inspiring thoughts will be out and available on Galentine's Day, February 13th. This felt special and creative receiving it and it's just a beautiful book to have. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you have a wonderful Galentine's Day and or a Valentine's Day surrounded by people and experiences that you love. Don't forget to take some time for yourself to reset and to love yourself. It's something that I'm trying to be better about this year is just loving myself. And it is an exceptionally difficult journey sometimes that is uphill in both directions, but I'm trying and I encourage you guys to do the same because you can love as many people as you like, but if you don't start by loving yourself and filling up your own tank first, then you won't have a lot to give out and it can be really exhausting. So go out there, give yourself a great big hug, either physically or in the form of some creative outlet or something that brings you happiness and joy. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.